Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries I have for you another As Seen on Television product. This time we're gonna do my nails because they're jacked up. Tired of paying for manicures or spending hours doing it at home? Then it just chips off. Oh no! The Pet Egg Bear Nails Gadget. <laughs> It'll polish your nails and it'll make them beautiful. And they're saying that by using this, it will leave your nails so shiny that it will look like you have clear nails. Let's figure out if that claim is accurate or not. Now, a lot of you guys always ask me when I do put on nail polish, what type of nail polish I'm using. And I have a whole bunch of colors and I usually like to list them in the description of each of the videos, but I do use nail gel polish and those are really hard to take off, especially if you're not patient and you don't wait for the little solution to break down the gel nail polish before you take it off. I'm usually just scraping it off and that really hurts and damages your nails. So that's why my nails have been looking jacked up in my videos recently is because the last time that I took off the gel nail polish I was kind of in a hurry and I kind of just scraped them off and that's not recommended. I just don't have the patience. I hope this thing will polish away all the nastiness and make my nails shiny like it has a clear coat of nail polish on it. The secret is mineral based micro finishing technology that smooths ridges with one roller and creates a glossy lasting shine with the other. Based on the name there, Pet Egg, I believe it's part of the Pet Egg like foot file line that they have and that stuff is pretty good. I do have a Pet Egg. I will never do a review on that thing because that's just TMI. Nobody wants to see your, I was going to say foot cheese, but that's way gross. Nobody wants to see that. You falling down your damn feet. You can go watch that shit somewhere else. You ain't watching it here. I have been trying to get rid of this cold flu. I don't know what the hell it is for the past week and a half. I'm actually feeling about 80% better at this point. So I thought, screw it. It's time to start filming some videos because I miss my folks. The pet egg does work and it is a good product. So I have high hopes for this thing. Now this thing is not a new as seen on television product it's been around for about two maybe going on three years but they're still selling it so maybe people still love it i'm hoping that i can use this product quickly right before a video and then my nails are going to look nice and polished without really being polished so let's open it up and see what we got here i hate these packages i know i've said this in other videos i could have swore somebody made a law that you can't make these packages anymore. Why are they still on the market? Pain in the ass. See what we get. Ooh, look at all that fanciness that we get. Okay, there's the main, I don't, what is this called? I was in, I'm was. i gonna call it a nail gadget. I don't know. Wait a second. Why are these falling apart, bulb head? Is that normal for it to be like kind of opening like that. Listen, when I said that these products have been around for one to two years, I hope I didn't get the first batch that you guys made now. I hope you guys are still making new product and not just trying to go through the inventory that you made a couple years ago. I'll look at the instructions here in a second. But I believe these two are different from these because these are for your hands and these are for your feet. I believe. So you're gonna get one nail polisher. Okay, this is called a polisher with cap. There's the cap, okay. These are the two smooth rollers, I think, cause I got two of those. You're gonna get two shine rollers, what? Okay, so I got two blue ones and two white ones. Maybe the blue ones are the shine and this one are the polish, I think so. Now super shine your nails in seconds naturally nails so one of them is for calluses and one of them is as a file but they don't tell us the instructions are really just giving us a picture so i guess we're just gonna guess at it a couple years ago it doesn't look like bulb head was stamping their damn logo on everything they would just give you these cute little stickers and left it up to you to advertise for them wherever the hell you wanted now they just stamp the damn logo on everything let's go back to the stickers bulb head that way people have an option. This is what the polisher looks like. We are gonna need batteries right there. So here's the cap for 
the top of this thing. Okay, I'm gonna need two AA batteries. I gotta go grab those. I believe the green one here is the nail filer. And this one here is like for calluses. For use on dry nails only, okay. Do not rinse or submerge the bare nails unit or rollers with water or other liquids. Use a dry clean towel or tissue to remove the debris from the roller. No, for best performance clean after each use. Okay, so here's my problem with that, is that if I'm using a towel or a tissue, it's gonna get stuck to this file. Have you tried to dry a nail file with a tissue or a towel? Obviously you haven't. Hello. You're never gonna be able to get that tissue off of that nail file. So I'm not a nail expert, I'm not a nail file expert, and I'm not a pet egg bear nail expert either, but I'm gonna say don't do that. They don't want you to submerge it underwater because this here in the middle is kind of just like foam. And what they've done is like put a sticker of this filing material around it. This is just like a throwaway kind of product in my eyes. So far, I'm not impressed with the quality of the actual little attachments. Whoever wrote those instructions needs to go to their house, grab a nail file, pat that nail file with a tissue or a towel so that they can see what kind of damn mess they have just made. Let's turn it on and see how loud this thing, I bet is loud. Ready? One, two, three, go. It's loud. <laughs> it's loud, but okay, it's pretty quick. I will polish one hand and then I will leave the other hand unpolished so that you guys can compare and tell me if they're as glossy and shiny as that damn infomercial. Ow! Okay, that just burned the hell out of me. But it might work too well, okay? I feel heat. Ow. Is that normal? I don't think so. I think it's going about 5,000 miles an hour. So do not be watching television and trying to file in your nails with this because you're going to have nubs. <laughs> Or your, or your nails are going to catch on fire. <laughs> they might catch on fire because that shit burned me. I got <laughs> I got three degree burns. I didn't. I'm, it's a joke. I did not get three degree burns, but I'm just saying. Don't be watching TV like a dum-dum. And gee, <laughs> You're not going to have a nail left. You're going to feel it before you fucking burn your finger off because... <laughs> This is going pretty fast. So I'm actually excited to see how well this is going to um, polish. It says quiet. That's a lie. <laughs> it is not quiet. It is actually very loud. And it says 2400 RPM motor. RPMs means rotations per minute. Is that what that means? No, rotations per, I don't know what the hell RPMs mean. If you know, tell me in the comments down below because y'all know everything. I used the wrong one. We're gonna have to do it again. No wonder I'm <laughs> See, bullhead, you see, I'm the normal girl at home who just fucking files. <laughs> no wonder that burned me. Lord, hell bizarre. I think I just, I just filed the nail with the shining attachment instead of the filing attachment. That's why I burn my fingers off. <laughs> I think you just pop it off. Oh my God, how cheap is this, you guys? This is more for like the beginner, the person who really doesn't want to invest a lot of money, who wants a product that's gonna last them just a few times. I mean, the actual polish gadget itself is okay. The little attachments is what I'm going, are you kidding me, bulb head. Let's file the nails once more to see what that feels like now with this green attachment. Oh my.
Okay, it's still burning me. So it wasn't the attachment. You just can't be on one spot too long. It's gonna burn the hell out of you. Ah. Okay, same experience, just a different attachment. My piece of advice is do not leave it in one spot for more than a couple of seconds. It's gonna burn you. I can do this nail in two seconds. So to change them out, it's really basic. You just pull this guy out like this. Ugh. Bulb head, this one kind of is real cheap, okay. And then you put on your next one. So we're gonna use this one to shine them up. So you're just gonna squeeze that in there. Directions, they even warn you, do not exceed two seconds per nail. I can do this nail in two seconds. All right, so here you go. I think the 24 RPMs might be a little overkill. Now let's pop on the white attachment, which is the polish attachment. And this is where the beautiful, glossy, clear nail polish look is gonna come from. So don't look away. Do not miss the magic that's about to happen. There is the before of my nails. Whoa, look. Pretty good, huh? It's definitely leaving my nails with a shine, look. First nail here, look how shiny it is compared to the other nails. You get a pretty nice shine to your nails. I just think the overheating of your nails cannot be good. You can really hurt yourself if you just leave it in one spot for too long. I think if you had better attachments with less RPMs, maybe it won't burn you so easily like I was getting burned a second ago. If you're buying this thinking that you're gonna get fabulous manicures and pedicures, I don't know about that. <laughs> And the idea of having to wipe these down makes absolutely no sense to me. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the bare nails two Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool As Seen on Television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.